What's up, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be running through AutoCut, which is a plugin for Adobe Premiere Pro, very similar to the Adobe Audition, Remove Silences or Trim Silences. Effectively, you can shove an entire recording in here and let it automatically split out and shorten silences in the recordings. For me, this is super useful, as when I record, I make a bunch of mistakes and this will automatically shorten everything down, I can delete the mistakes and my video is practically edited for me. Do note that this is a paid plugin, but there are free alternatives. I was sponsored a key in order to create a guide that they'll be featuring somewhere else, but this video is just an extra I'm doing on top of that. If you're looking for a plugin like this, well, hey, here's one. By no means am I telling you that you need to go purchase this. Of course, this video in particular wasn't sponsored, but I was given a key so I can cover it. First of all, I'll run through an example of how to use it, what it does, and at the very end, I'll show you how to install it. Firing up Premiere Pro and simply importing a video, you can see that I already have the AutoCut panel open. If you don't have AutoCut open, click window at the very top, extensions, and make sure AutoCut is ticked. All you have to do once it's initialized is click on a video with audio. When you've done so, you'll see this window over here. Basically, AutoCut gets rid of silences, similarly to the shortened silence effect that we get in Adobe Audition. It picks out silence, represented in red, and then removes it, or simply splits it up for you to remove manually later. On top of this, we can also define how short or long the breaks should be when it does trim silence. While everything here may look daunting, it's rather simple. First of all, step three, the noise level. Everything quieter than the decibels defined here will be considered silence and scheduled for deletion or shortening. Make sure to set this to just above your noise floor in order to properly detect silence and not cut out voice at all. Set too high and you'll be removing quiet speaking. Set too low and you won't be removing silence if you don't have something like a noise gate in your actual recording. I have a noise gate so I can crank this all the way down to negative 50 as the noise floor is somewhere around negative 90 decibels. When you've calibrated the correct noise level, at the very top we have some options. Silence sizes, let's just define how long silence needs to be in order to be considered for removal and how long you need to be talking for it to be considered not silence. Remove silences longer than is the upper limit of silence in your recording. As soon as there is silence for longer than the time defined here, it'll then be shortened using the rest of the settings on this page under step two. Having this too short will result in weird chopping while you're speaking, especially if you're someone who takes breaks between sentences. The remove talks shorter than option over here allows you to remove breathing, coughing, and things like that. It is super basic, but effectively you need to be talking for longer than the time defined here in order for it to not be considered silence, even if it does go over the noise level we defined earlier. So having this too long will result in words being removed entirely. Have this too short and lots of small noises crackling in the audio above the noise level will be included. The configure padding options over here lets you configure how long before and after speaking silence won't be removed. Simply changing the before padding from 0.2 to 0 shows you exactly what it does. As soon as silence is detected, for 0 seconds, it'll start being removed. You don't want to have this too short, otherwise it'll cut off the ends of words and sentences and make things sound super choppy. The after padding over here is how long after a silence you'll have some silence before you start speaking again. So once again, setting this to zero, as soon as I start speaking, it'll immediately let the audio come through. Everything before that point is removed or shortened. Once again, you don't want to have the set too high. Adding these two together here will be the minimum amount of silence between sentences, etc. As soon as you have all your settings right, you can scroll down and verify with this preview over here. Moving the playhead around and clicking center on indicator, we'll see exactly what will happen to that silence around the playhead. The final option is keep silences, which you should leave off unless you'd like to see exactly what it does. It does make a backup before it does anything permanent. So zooming out, which isn't required, selecting my video and audio clip and clicking cut will immediately run the program through the selected clip. It makes a bunch of breaks, then delete silence and shortens everything together. That deleting silence and shortening section won't be there if you have this bottom option set to yes. When your clip's been edited, you can zoom in and see exactly what's left behind. As you can see, coughing and making noises is included here right before I start speaking. So while you still do need to do some manual editing, it's a lot easier, especially if you're working on super long form content. Anything that's super short is either a retake, a mistake, or simple noises. It makes things really easy to spot, especially if you're a visual worker instead of someone who listens through the audio entirely. How exactly do you get AutoCut installed? Well, head across 
just to autocut.fr slash en linked down in the description below and click free download. When you do so, click download now and you'll see the minimum Adobe Premiere Pro version as well as supported OSs, Mac OS and Windows. Wait for the download to finish and click in it to open it up. When the installer opens up, select your language of choice and click OK. Then next, install, wait for it to install and click finish. Upon restarting Adobe Premiere Pro, you should notice window, extensions, auto cut is now available and ticking it, you'll get the auto cut panel. You may be asked to sign up for a trial or enter a key before using it. If so, make sure to do that. And with that, finally, before I head off, what about multi-track audio? Well, at the time of releasing this video, unfortunately, it's not supported. But in an email exchange between me and the AutoCut developers, you can see that this is a planned feature and coming very soon, in fact. But anyways, that's really about it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.